Yo! BMAC family, what is up? It's me, your boy, BMAC, again, and we're back with another video. Today, I'm going to take a little dive, since we're a sports channel, let's take a little dive into some more unknown sports. Found a video on YouTube, I'm just going to react to it. It's 10 sports that we did not know existed. I'm pretty sure I'm going to know at least one or two of them, because I live in Dublin, Georgia. I mean, there's a lot of hillbillies around here. We, we get bored and we do weird stuff, so I'll probably know about some of them. Anyway, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. We're going to jump right into this video and see what's cracking. Let's see what they got for me. sports are a little weird if you think about it. If you take away Facts. money, personalities, and fanfare, sports usually just involve objects getting thrown between posts. And these are the popular ones. Stay tuned to see the weirdness of the not-so-popular ones, including a fictional sport that isn't fictional any longer. Quidditch? My god! Make sure to like this video. Subscribe Leave a like for Harry Potter, yo. Who doesn't like Harry Potter? Come on. Extremes. Also, check out our community tab to connect with like-minded people. Now, here are 10 weird sports you didn't know existed. Chess boxing. What was originally a performance stunt, chess boxing is now an official sport with cult followings in several countries. It was invented by Lepe Rubin, a Dutch performance artist who Shout out to Lepe Rupi. from a comic strip gag. He organized the first official chess boxing match in Berlin, Germany in 2003. Say less. As you've probably guessed, chess boxing features two opponents who play chess and box each other in the same competition. However, they don't do it simultaneously. Dude, I'll suck at boxing. The opponents alternate the disciplines. And chess. Six rounds of chess Matter of fact. and five rounds of boxing. The way you win the game is to either knock out your opponent in the boxing portion, checkmate your opponent in the chess portion, or to delay either event too long. If no knockout occurs and the chess ends in a draw, then the competitor with the most boxing points wins. There are even weight classes, but surprisingly, there are no intellectual classes. Snail racing. The World Jesus. Snail Racing Championship began in the 1960s and has continued to this day. People get really bored. 2018 events taking place in Congham, England. Over 150 snails competed under the tutelage of their human trainers. 150 the snails. The fastest in the world. Bro, how are you going to train a snail, first off? circular course while their owners cheered them Dude, that's a fat... The no. race even started let's with the command, keep it PG. ready, steady, slow. It takes many minutes for the snails to run or crawl the course. With the fastest ever time belonging to an individual named Archie, who finished the race in two minutes at the 1995 World Championship. Boy, in get somebody, get somebody get Archie's little ass. Larry came within 20 seconds of the record, beating out the tournament favorite Hugh Slam Bolt to win gold. These hot rods far exceed the speed of an average snail, which Bruh. moves at 0.03 miles per hour. Hawkern. Hawkern could be called Extreme City, because that's exactly what it is. Originating in the streets of Germany as a kind of Bavarian hacky sack. Hockern Germany. Consists of a special type of stool that Boy, what in the hell are y'all doing in Germany, yo? Flips and twirls and all kinds of breakdancing-like stunts are performed with a modified stool. And the best Hawkerners can perform moves that will blow you away. However, it's all for naught if the Hawkerner doesn't stick the landing. This is the prime objective of the sport, to sit down in the most well, obviously. way possible. If one isn't able to sit, he receives Boy, just no his arms. We're still not exactly clear on the scoring system, because despite its creativeness, Hawkern has remained relatively obscure. It's been promoted for several years by the company Salzig Sport Hawker, which is headed by the Landschutz brothers, who are considered the fathers of the sport. Okay. You can buy okay. many different types of the modified stool, which is called the Sport Hawker, on the company's website. If you're still unsure about trying the sport, check out some Hawkern videos on YouTube. I think I'm straight. I think I'm straight on thousands. Oh, okay. Sure. Bossa Ball. They're doing numbers, Bossa huh? Bossa Ball is a sport named after Bossa Nova, which is a genre of Brazilian music that was popularized in the 1950s. Boy, Shawty can get the stick, yo. Bossa Ball, as are soccer, volleyball, and gymnastics, the techniques of which combine to make it one of the most unique sports in the world. It's played on an inflatable court of fixed Boy, trampolines. And the I'll play this now. You strike the ball on the floor of your opponent's side by using any body part. The players on each team utilize the trampolines to make high flights and hits that are unparalleled. Now that's lit. Now I could, this is a sport I could get behind right a here. DJ even performs at the games. Say less. Exciting sound to entertain the audience and motivate the players. Yo. Bossa Ball was created by Philippe Ekmans from 2003 to 2005. Right. He developed Bossa Ball into its current form. Nobody's studying this aqua. And is now catching some heat. My guy. Bossa Ball has sizable fan bases in Brazil, Argentina, Belgium, and the Netherlands. It was even demonstrated in Rio de Janeiro in the 2016 Summer Olympics. Okay, yeah, I'm down with that. That's lit. Arm, 
Thumb or Greco-Roman wrestling, some athletes participate in toe wrestling. The object is to pin your opponent's foot to the table using only your toes. This bizarre competition That's disgusting, bro. In 1974, when patrons of Yale Come on, bro. decided to devise a sport that the UK could triumph at. The reasoning was that if the sport was unknown to other countries, Britain well, y'all don't want to see my feet. World champions. <laughs> the first championship was held at the end later that year, Ooh. won by Britain's own Mick Dawson. Dawson, and by extension the United Kingdom, remained champion until 1976, when a Canadian visited the inn and took possession of the world's title. The World Toe Wrestling Championship is still being held on a yearly basis, and has been won the most times by Alan Nasty Nash, a 15-time recipient of the sport's highest honor, underwater hockey. Underwater hockey is also known as wrestling. octopus and is played at the bottom octopus. of the Octopush! Say less! ...are similar to regular hockey, where players push a puck towards the other team's net with the intention of scoring a goal. Wait, how long they hold their breath on their nerve, there, man? There are a myriad of differences, especially the fact that the players are equipped with snorkels, flippers, and swimsuits. There are six players per team that play at once, and referees oversee the action in full snorkeling gear. The hockey sticks are also a lot shorter, as they're used for pushing the puck across a pool's bottom which is an action that needs a lot of leverage. The first underwater hockey world championship was held in Canada in 1980. Hold and up, subsequent huh? host countries have included the Netherlands. I can't hold my breath, so I'd be absolutely terrible at this one. Carrying. Wife carrying. Well, Any don't have a wife, so I'm out of this one. spouse through a grueling course could survive anything. Maybe this is why so many people compete in wife carrying competitions throughout the world. The objective is pretty obvious. Okay, the I mean, that's... course is less so. That's White pretty cool. is performed over an 830-foot long track full of sand, water, and uneven terrain. The couple who competes the course in the fastest time are the champions. There are yeah, I feel like I can win that. Rules, however. Not gonna flex One on y'all. is that the wife can only be carried in piggyback. Your boy's got wheels. Estonian style. Boy, get your... The wife upside down with her legs over the carrier's neck. Another rule is that the wife can weigh no less than 100 pounds. You may be surprised to know that the carried wife does not have to be the carrier's actual wife. But it could be a friend's wife, a neighbor's wife. There we go. Wife. Your boy can enter. To someone though, as indicated by the sports. I said I got to be a wife to somebody. Originated in Finland, but tournaments have Hit the DMs if y'all want to go to that. US, I'll pull Canada up. We'll win. The UK. We'll get all up. Oh, Taiyoshi. And you thought capture the flag was intense? Well, you and your schoolmates were running around searching for a flag. Hundreds of Japanese students were piling on each other in a dangerous attempt at schoolyard supremacy. Bo Taiyoshi consists of two teams of 75 players who fight to lower the other team's pole while defending their own. It is a Japanese game that is traditionally played on school sports days. But this is not unauthorized roughhouse. Did I really fight? It's an organized sport that has thousands of spectators. And we can see why. Yeah, I'd be down to watch it, bro. This looks lit. Once to lower a pole must be an amazing sight, like rugby on steroids, which is already pretty much football on steroids. Come on, yo. Y'all tripping, yo. victorious when the other team's pole is lowered 30 degrees from the ground. Say less! In 1973 rule change, the angle was just 45 degrees. This means that not only does a team have to lower the pole, but it has to fight tooth and nail to lower the pole to a certain angle. Dude, I'm taking Though her pole smooth out, yeah. probably tons of fun. We're getting stressed just talking about it. No, nah, I'm down for that. I'm down Gold for that Lake one. In Australia is known for two things: seafood and competition. I know a couple it's strippers that'd be lit at that game. Yeah. From the catching and selling of ocean climb a pole in 2.2. 2. Residents organize a yearly festival called Tunarama, which began in 1962. Tunarama. Not alone in thinking that a festival revolving around tuna would be lacking in excitement, because in 1979, organizers decided to add an event that would bring global notoriety to the city of 16,000. Tuna tossing, now a Port Lincoln staple, is one of the straightest sports in the world. The championship is held every January at Tunarama, as competitors try to outdistance each other with their tuna tossing. Say I'm out on this. I don't like the smell of fish. I eat it it sometimes, but I don't like it. I ain't finna smell like fish all day, homie. Or be around a bunch of people that smell like fish, either. Tuna tosser. While real tuna were used for decades, accusations of wastefulness and a struggling economy forced organizers to switch... Brother, he's a fake Okay, I'm in. I take back what I said, I'm in. The tuna thrower is Sean Carlin, who tossed a real fish 122 feet in 1998. The competition's worst mm -hmm. moment happened I'll in 1989, toss the piss out, when organizers were no cap. after a 17-pound frozen tuna injured a spectator. Oh my! Quidditch! Quidditch! How can we have a topic like this Woo! Quidditch? A fictional sport played by wizards. Wow, well, dust them. So much I'll dust their ass. By non-magical people in the real world. Say less. One or two of you that don't know, Quidditch is a sport created by J.K. Rowling for the Harry Potter book series. It's the best book series ever. I don't want to hear y'all. Y'all stop capping in the comments. I know y'all doing that right now. By the end of the match, 
This is done by hurling a ball through goalposts for points. Yes, sir. Or by capturing a sentient and agile ball called the Golden Snitch for 150 points. Real Quidditch is a little bit different, considering that the players can't fly, but it's still played with broomsticks which are set I might as well legs. be flying, I'll be floating, boy. The way magic is removed, the rules are the same. And Quidditch retains its full contact nature. However, the iconic Golden Snitch is reduced to a tennis ball inside a long sock that is attached to a very quick person. Thanks to the Ain't success of the Harry Potter franchise, Muggle Quidditch is popular throughout the world. Yeah, I'll pull Even up. Even in the U.S., over 100 colleges have Quidditch teams. Boy, y'all giving out scholarships! That's all for 10 weird sports you didn't know existed. Let's see what's crazy. What other strange competitions would you add to this list? Let us know in the comments. Alright. That's it for the video. So! Let me set up an attention here. So! Which one was used, guys? your guys' favorites? Mine's Quidditch, for sure, without a doubt. But that pole one, that seems lit. What was the other one? Toe wrestling, I ain't doing that. Um, that's all I can remember. I got a terrible memory. But yeah, the pole one and the Quidditch, I'm pulling up. I'm dusting everybody. So if y'all want to have a little Quidditch match, hit the DMs. Oh, the wife, Karen. If you're a wife, if you are married, and you want to hit B-Max DMs, slide right in there. We'll pull up. We'll win. I don't know what you win, but we're going to win it. And that's a fact. Anybody wants to play the little pole game out in the backyard, hit me up. I'll snatch y'all's pole smooth out the ground. Anyway, it's just something a little different today, a little reaction video. Thank you guys for tuning in. It was pretty interesting. I knew one. I knew one of them. I knew the Quidditch. I knew that was a sport. And uh, any of y'all colleges, University of Florida, anybody handing out scholarships for Quidditch, just hit your boys DMs. All my social media is in the description. Y'all make sure y'all follow that. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Trying to get to 1,000 by the end of the year. We're at like 310 roughly now. So y'all like, subscribe, comment. Hope y'all have a great day and a good work week. Y'all get after that paycheck. Peace.